The state of the U.S. economy is often the central issue in presidential elections, with candidates often promising to boost growth, create jobs, and ensure prosperity for all. But how much control does the U.S. president actually have on the prosperity and economic success of the country? While the president can influence economic conditions through policy decisions and leadership, the reality is that there's many factors, some of which are outside of the president's control, that shape the U.S. economy for today and the future. So let's take a look at just how much control the U.S. president has on the economy. The U.S. economy is a complex and dynamic system influenced by a variety of factors as you might expect, including global markets, technological advances, demographic changes, and consumer behavior. While the president plays a significant role in shaping policy, there are several key aspects in the economy influenced by forces that the president really can't control. When it comes to things like pandemics and the global economy, the U.S. economy is deeply interconnected with that global economy. Trade agreements, foreign exchange rates, and international events like conflicts or pandemics can have significant impacts on economic conditions, often outside of the control of the president. For instance, fluctuation in oil prices or global supply chain disruptions can affect inflation and growth causing the global economy to be a big impact on the U.S. economy, which the president doesn't control. The Federal Reserve is also the central bank of the United States and plays a critical role in managing the economy and setting interest rates and is not directly controlled by the president. While the president appoints the Federal Reserve chair and its board members, the Fed operates independently to make decisions based on economic data rather than political considerations. Its actions, particularly regarding interest rates, can have profound effects on economic growth, inflation, and employment levels. Additionally, while the president can set the tone for policy decisions, Congress is still needed to enact economic policies, and it depends heavily on all of their cooperation. The president can propose budget cuts, tax reforms, and spending initiatives, but they have to be approved by Congress. The legislative process often involves compromises, which can dilute or alter the president's original proposals, giving them muted control over where they'd like the economy to be. Lastly, there's other market forces at play. The stock market, consumer confidence, and business investment decisions are driven by a multitude of factors, often outside of which the president can control. While presidential policies can influence these factors, they are also subject to market dynamics that they just can't control. Despite these limitations, the president can control a lot. They can control things like fiscal policy, regulation, and trade policy, as well as make a variety of executive orders. The president does have a lot of sway in setting the federal budget. They also have a lot of sway in pushing which regulation takes effect, and again has a ton of sway in trade policy and executive orders. But it's important to note that even though the president has as sway, that does not necessarily mean they can just blanket make decisions. We still have to operate as a democracy, and Congress still has to cooperate. Beyond formal powers, the president can also influence the economy through leadership and public perception. While you might think the economy is purely based on how numbers perform, a lot of the economy, and the stock market in particular, is based on investors' feelings of which the president has pretty strong control over. The president's rhetoric, priorities, and responses to economic challenges can shape consumer and business confidence, which are important drivers of economic activity. For example, strong leadership during a financial crisis or clear communication of economic policies can bolster confidence and stabilize markets. So does the president control the economy? Well, 
While the president has significant influence over the economy through fiscal policy, regulation, trade, and public leadership, their control is not absolute. The economy is shaped by a complex interplay of global forces, market dynamics, and independent institutions like the Federal Reserve. Understanding these limitations is crucial to evaluating any given presidential candidate, and it does make one feel slightly better if the candidate that you did didn't want gets put in office. While they do have some control, the effects of the economy largely occur from a decentralized perspective, of course influenced by the president, but by a variety of other global factors.